The Valenius family, active in the shipping business since the 30s, realized already 20 years ago that big changes were needed. 90% of all global freight was shipped using fossil fuels. Clearly, this was not the future. There had to be a sustainable, emission-free energy source to power the deep-sea freight ships. And after researching many different solutions, the naval architects and engineers at Valenius Marine concluded that the renewable energy source with the most potential was wind power. Istället för att ha dieselmaskiner som driver fartyget framåt så drivs fartyget framåt av vind. Det unika är kombinationen av ett specialanpassat fartyg optimerat för att ha vingar uppe på toppen. Och vinden finns där oavsett och är gratis. If this kind of wind powered ships would become common in the industry I think this would be a big step ahead uh, for making the maritime sector fossil free. This is definitely one of the uh, most promising projects that we have funded. And I think the, the consortium behind the project uh, is a good guarantee that this will be a successful project. hope to reduce a lot the consumption of the ship, maybe up to 90%. We are testing the hydrodynamic performance, so it's the hull and the rudder and the propeller. And we are measuring the forces and the propeller efficiency and the rudder actions on the hull. If we see any deviations, then we can uh, correct for that in the computations and achieve uh, accurate uh, predictions for the concept. This vessel will go from Gothenburg uh, to some European ports and across the Atlantic uh, to Halifax. And what we want to do with this measurement equipment is to use this to be able to design an efficient wing sail for the WPCC and also to help us design the uh, aerodynamic shape of the ship itself, which will have a big impact on the total fuel efficiency. The current situation with the LiDAR is that we have secured the data, we have analyzed the data, and we have written the first paper on it, and uh, we have gotten really interesting results. Really interesting. So this is, I think, a quite important milestone for the project for, from two perspectives. First, for the 7-meter demonstrator, putting it in water the first time helps a lot afterwards because now we know more precisely how the boat will behave. We can calculate how to make it stable and sail in good conditions. Nu tas ett svenskt segelfraktfartyg fram. En medio de los problemas por el cambio Paradigm shift in maritime transport. Saving up to 90% in greenhouse gas emissions. We have to find a way to quieten our oceans. And if we could now make these these vessels like the ocean bird be wind powered it's this classic win 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 det här tycker jag är ett praktiskt exempel på eh, nytänkande som vi verkligen behöver jag vill se en en armada av eh, segelfartyg som kan transportera vårt gods i framtiden The toughest test we will do is uh, with the uh, six meter waves coming from behind. So we could see that the, the ship model had some uh, problems to maneuver in those waves. But in general, we are uh, really surprised how well she sails. 
she keeps the course uh, even in uh, moderate waves. We will be able to sail this ship in the North Atlantic Ocean with six meter waves and she will perform well. As we have been developing the Ocean Bird system, we have been looking around for a partner to make it a reality. We are truly excited to be a part of this new venture with Velenius. Both the companies have a common vision around sustainability. Alfa Laval is uh, excellent to work with because they are reliable and uh, they share the same values that we do. Our combined skills make it a solid new company.